Welcome to Guys on Sports. We are here today doing a mock draft for you. We're not wasting any time. We're doing a 12-man PPR league redraft. Pretty standard lineup. You got your quarterback, you know, your flex, wide receivers. We're doing defense and kicker just to keep it pretty normal. Make sure you follow us on GON Podcast. Comment who wins this draft, and I think we can kind of get into it. You see it on the screen here. We have randomized the draft order. We've got three bench players. Uh, we're near the back end of this draft, as you'll see. We have a lot of AI that's going to be drafting as well. Who wins, man or machine? I think we can get this started. Yeah, I think they're drafting mostly on ADP. So, all right, here we go. Start mock draft and team one. Christian. Uh, CD Lamb goes, Tyree Kill, Jamar Chase. Justin Jeff Jefferson, wow. So it's it's interesting that wide receiver heavy. Yep, and then the first running back was, oh no, second running back was mm -hmm. Brees Hall. Who's on the board, me? No, Rock. I'm on the board. Okay. So I've got a choice here. Um, I like Puka. Um, I like A.J. Brown, but I'm going to go, I think, with the best running back, and I'm going to go Bajan Robinson Okay, here. That, that was the guy that I wanted, so now I'm going to try and pivot. I, in general, don't like taking a wide receiver very high because I think you can get it later on. And I'm going to go with a guy named Jonathan Taylor. Man, Puka was taken right after you, which is a guy that I was hoping would come back to me in the next round. And Phil, you are on the clock. I'm on the clock. You know, typically in first round, I am looking running back, but I'm looking at the board here and I got to be honest. guys. Yeah, stinky. Well, there's the guy you didn't like from the last episode, Jameer Gibbs. And the guy that yeah. I told well, people to trade away, and then the guy that left your team for my team. So <laughs> all three bad options here. So I'm looking at wide receiver now. That's funny that you guys can see what I'm looking at. I think you should break <laughs> uh, young Zaddy's heart here. He wouldn't do it. I'm not going to do that. <sighs> yeah, I'm going to go with Mr. Garrett Wilson here. Okay. Saquon is taken after you. Oh, wait, this is not a, circun, a serpentine draft. No, it's not. Wow. So that hmm, really... That changes everything. <laughs> yeah, it does. So now I've got, uh, boy, not a lot of choices here. I could draft Chris Olave or Drake London, um, Sam Laporta as uh, one of the number one tight ends, or I could double down on running backs. I don't love any of my choices here so i'm gonna go ahead and just draft drake london because i do think he's the best wide receiver still on yeah. the board i think drake london has a pretty good year i do want to note tate for the people listening at home that josh allen was taken in the second round at which is surprising the middle of the round so we already have a quarterback off the board and wide receiver is getting thin i'm currently looking at travis Etienne. i'm looking at isaiah pacheco i'm looking at josh <laughs> jacobs uh, Devon A. Chain is way too high, in my opinion. I've got Chris Olave, who I like in general, but every time this man catches a touchdown, he gets laid out. I feel like he might not survive mm. a few <laughs> more seasons. It's That's just fair. like a more more of a meme than anything. So I'm going to do what I usually do, and I'm doubling down. I'm taking Travis Etienne, who finished the season bad, but started the season very well. Right Chris after Olave that, goes after. Chris Olave, and now, Phil, you are on the clock. I'm on the clock, and I need a back, and... You've got As Garrett. I suspected, I picked the wide receiver, and basically I have the same board I had in the end of the first round. So I'm feeling good about that. I'm going to come and grab a guy I've been talking up all off season. Um I don't think he'll be here for me next round, so I'm going to take James Cook. Yeah, I like that pick. Nico, Nico Collins, Sam Laporta, and Travis Kelsey go. De Devin A. Chain, Debo Samuel, Evans, Josh Jacobs, who would have been my pick here. Um, in at this uh, third round, and then Michael Pittman. So I have to decide here. I like to see that we already had our first two tight ends off the board. Yeah, yeah. well, Porter was the first tight end taking Travis Kelsey. I I think that might be foreshadowing, or at least the you know the passing of the torch. So yeah. I'm going to go ahead and and do uh, a running back. I think I'm drafting him a little bit high, but I don't like any of the receivers here right now so i'm going to go in and do isaiah pacheco at yeah. running back i think he's going to be a workhorse yeah i like i like isaiah pacheco in dynasty i like him in redraft i think this is solid i have a predicament here because i need a wide receiver i'm not a big digs guy 
Me neither. I'm going to go. I'm going to go with the true wide receiver in Chicago. I'm taking DJ Moore. I think this it's was a good pick. pick yeah. I think it's a good yeah. pick as well. I, I hesitated between him and Pacheco. Mm-hmm. Derek Henry went. And Phil, you're on the clock. Now, I still feel, I think I can get, I think the cream of the crop for the running backs right now is gone. Um, I do think I could get kind of the same guy or maybe a guy I like better than these guys right at the top. So I'm going to go back to the wide receiver pool. <clears throat> I hate digs and my guy sitting there. I think the maybe one of two true wide receiver ones that are left. And I just like him better than DK Metcalf. And you got I'm going with Malik Neighbors. Second rookie wow. off the board. I don't hate that pick. Risky businessman. I don't Diggs know. Diggs goes so. next. Our first two quarterbacks go. So. No. Lamar Jackson and Jalen, uh, sorry, Jalen Hurts. Waddle, Devontae Smith. Rashad, Cry more. <laughs> Rashad White, Trey McBride, Patrick Mahomes. My sleeper pick is gone, Devontae Smith. Well, it's not really a sleeper, but I think he's going to be really it's well. It's too high for him, dude. Do you think so? He finished wide receiver 21 last year and was drafted as like wide receiver 11. So I kind of feel like I'm backed in a corner here. I should th- feel good about that. Not I'm going to take the... <clears throat> I'm going to take the quarterback I have the highest at this point. I'm going to take C.J. Stroud. One of my league winners. Man, see, see, now this happens to me in a lot of drafts where value starts becoming more apparent for my quarterback and tight end position. Yep. Well, yeah. and in this draft, a mm. lot of tight ends and a surprising number of quarterbacks are gone. Yeah, so for me, typically, and if I don't get... I mean, I'm just going to be honest. I never draft a quarterback or tight end top three rounds. So I usually wind up drafting them after the eighth or ninth because I just once, I mean, if you're going to really kind of roll the dice, I think it's got to be on one of those top guys. Like, soup, like you can't really be playing the middle. Like, I'm not taking any of these guys here. The only reason why I'm taking Dalton Kincaid is because I don't like anything else when it comes to these Lower end tight ends besides maybe Najoku. It's the first I, surprise for me. I can't hang my hat on Najoku being there where I want him to be, and I don't like the rest of these tight end options. Right, so Dalton Kin- Kincaid, Joe Mixon, and it's Phil is on the clock. And yeah, with, see, for me, like, tight ends, right here, I'd rather go get me the last good receiver, the last good yeah. running back, than to take a risk on a tight end. What stuck out to me is that Dalton Kincaid is – the number one option right now in the passing game for the Buffalo Bills. Keon Coleman's unproven. James Cook is going to have his receptions, but he's still running back at the end of the day. Well, I think Dalton Kincaid does have one upside. Like, I think he could be somebody who was talked about being in the top five tight ends. Yeah. So I, I don't hate that pick. I also just want to time here. I just want to get rid of tight end. I don't want to have to worry about this later. Man, I'm not liking this, Flick. but I'm going to have to go with Aaron Jones here. Ooh, Aaron Jones. But you know what? He is a receiver, uh, a pretty good receiver. DK Metcalf, oh, no. Cooper Cup, damn it, George Pickens, who was I was hoping would come to me. I just I needed another run. T. Back. Higgins, Kenneth Walker, Mark Andrews, Tank Dells, Zay Flowers, and I'm on the clock. Yeah, and I'm not sure that my next go round I'm gonna have a starting running back left. So yeah, so what I'm gonna do here <clears throat> is I'm gonna I mean, go with uh, yeah. a fan favorite for me. I do need another receiver, and I'm going to go and draft Amari Cooper Mm -hmm. on upside. I think he's going to be the workhorse. I thought about Amari there. That's good. That is good. That's good. I like my running backs, and I think Kamara continues to do well. So I'm taking Kamara. Yeah, I think this is the last year of Kamara. Yep. Okay, I'm on the clock again, huh? After... Kamara, Keenan Allen's off the board, who I do think has some pretty good upside in Chicago, too. It depends on where you get him. I, I do think Rome is not, his time is not yet, and Keenan Allen's has passed, and I think DJ Moore is, it's DJ Moore time. All right, so coming right back around, um, I'm going back to the wide receiver depot. I'm looking at two guys here. I'm looking at Christian Kirk. I'm looking at Chris Godwin. I'm looking at a lot of targets. I'm looking at a lot of receptions, a, new, a renewed old opportunity for Christian Kirk. Um, but I think I'm going to go with the guy I've been banging a drum for, Chris Godwin. 
Yep. Yeah, I think Godwin, and I think that that solidified the fact that you are taking Dak Prescott as your quarterback at some point. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, <laughs> Kyle Pitts is gone. Rome, uh, Rome Adunze. Oh, AR is gone. Christian Kirk, George Kittle, yep. DeAndre Swift, Rashi Rice, Terry McLaurin, and I'm on the clock. And I am like hurting. There's a tight end I could draft, but I feel like I would be overdrafting him here. Um, let me see. I do want to say I was eyeing Anthony Richardson, and he went in the sixth round in this 12-man draft. A little bummed about that. Thought, I think he can take off this year Ooh. healthy. AR. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, for me, because of his value, where I would have to take him, it just wouldn't, I couldn't do that. So I'm going to go, uh, boy, I do not like a lot of my choices here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and maybe take a risk here, and I'm going to draft Calvin Ridley as a third wide receiver with upside. I think they paid him to be the number one. I think Hopkins is on the decline. And if you look at it, he had um, the fewest red zone targets but was open the most in the red zone by um, some stat sites. <coughs> All right, right now I'm thinking about just stocking up and looking at wide receivers. I'm taking my guy Jaden Reed. Uh, you know what? I'll be honest. If I had seen Jaden Reed, I'd <coughs> take it in. So <laughs> it's a good pick. Yeah, Jaden Reed, I think this is a Jaden Reed year. We're, we're, we're big Jaden Reed podcast. After that, uh, Jordan Addison, who was, I was looking at Addison or Ridley. I just felt like Ridley had more upside. To okay. me, I just don't like that. I don't like that Justin Jefferson is in town. I think Jordan Addison is just not draftable for me unless it's like extremely late. So Jordan uh, Addison is on my team in one of my leagues and did surprisingly well, even when Jefferson was on the field with him. He averaged almost 12 fantasy points a game. That's fair. So like for me, if he's a wide receiver three, which for for in this team, he is. Uh, I, I don't think he's doing – actually, he's wide receiver four for this team. That's pretty good. Hey, you, uh, can I make my pick, guys? All right, with 10 seconds left, uh, I'm going to go <clears throat> with Zach Moss. Ooh, okay. Right before you got David Montgomery. Yeah. And you got Connor, Harris, Evan Ingram, Dak Prescott, Joe Burrow, Ramondre Stevenson, Hollywood Brown, which makes my decision easy, and I am uh, drafting Bowers, the tight end, mm. uh, rookie tight end. Uh -huh. And I'm drafting him on upside. I hate to do this to Phil. Oh, wow. Hate to do it to Phil. I'm taking Kyler Murray. It's a good pick. I think there's, I, I don't know if there's necessarily value with this, but it was him or Jordan Love, who I love both those guys with where they're falling in drafts, but Kyler Murray to me is a little bit more explosive. After that, Tony Pollard is off the, off the board, and Phil is on the clock. All right, so I'm going to try to beef up my uh, skill room, being that you guys are taking all the tight ends and quarterbacks. I'm going to double up here. No, you know what? I'm going to I'm going with Deontay Johnson. Ooh. Oh, that's a good a pick. league winner right there. Raheem Mostert is next. Good pick. Ryan Thomas, Samir White, DeAndre Hopkins, Javante Williams, Austin Eckler, Xavier Worthy, David Njoko, who would have been the other tight end I would have looked at. Um, but I need a running back. I am drafting on upside here. And so I am going to draft Nick Chubb and hope for a rebound. Interesting. All right. I would like to point out as well that Austin Eckler, a first overall, or yeah, might have been a first overall pick, definitely first round guy last year, went in the eighth round. Pretty crazy. Who Great value. Thought. Yeah, okay. I, in that round, I did like Zamir White, and it, had he been there, I would have taken him over Chubb. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I could do a lot here. I could do a lot here. Um, I need a wide receiver. That's what I'm currently looking at. I do not like Lad McConkey, who is what my ADP is right now. Hamstring Watson, not a fan. Come on. He's back, baby. No. <coughs> hmm. <coughs> Throwing through a loop here, I got to say. I hate this pick. I'm taking Jamison Williams. Oh, man. Jamison I think, Williams. I think that's like three rounds too early, but we'll take that. Yeah. Jordan Love and Phil's on the clock. And I feel like my patience has paid off, and I'm taking my tight end, TJ Hawkinson. 
Yep, when healthy it is, is good. After that, Brock Purdy goes, Jalen Warren, Lad McConkey, Jackson Smith, Najigba, Jake Ferguson, Caleb Williams, uh, Christian Watson, and then Jonathan Brooks. And I am back on the clock. And I'm looking, I've got three running backs, three receivers, a tight end, and a quarterback. So I pretty much can take anybody that I'm the most high on here. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. I've got upside with a rookie receiver here, and I do like rookies. And so I'm going to go Keon Coleman, the number one receiver, I believe, in Buffalo this year. Mm -hmm. And I'm hoping that he gets 120 targets and has a good rookie season. I thought about Keon Coleman over Jamison Williams. I just like that I can be getting potential upside with Jamison Williams. I, I I can't even talk that big. I don't like don't draft Jamison Williams. This is a, the PSA. Well, I think Williams does have more touchdown upside than Keon Coleman. Mm -hmm. Keon Coleman's kind of a workman like receiver. Not quite as fast. Yeah. Speaking of workmen, taking Brian Robinson, who survived gun wounds. Yeah, that guy. Tough guy, man. The RB1 in Washington. Two is off the clock, and Phil has a decision to make here. We are in the, what what round are we in now? Uh, we are in the ninth round. Ninth round. It's starting to look like quarterback. Per Actually, no, there's a lot of good quarterbacks left. So. Yeah. yeah. So, with that being said, thanks, guys. Um. We're going to go ahead and pass on the quarterback for now. Um, now, I'm not thrilled with this pick. No, I might not do that. This is tough. Okay. Any, meeny, miny, mo. Justin Herbert or Trevor Lawrence. Which way do I go? Hmm. I'm going T-Law. 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 Horseman. Trey Benson, Dalton Schultz, Jared Goff, Devin Singletary, Romeo Dobbs, Gus Edwards, Curtis Samuel. And now I would love to find a running back. And there is one that I do like here. I think has a lot of upside. I think you've talked him up a little bit um, also. There's a wide receiver I'm really interested in. But I'm kind of hoping that he lasts to the next round. And I could also go a tight end, uh, sorry, another quarterback. But I'm going to take Todd G. Spears. I think he's the right choice here, high upside of a running back. Fair enough. I need a wide receiver to, like, even out this team. I don't, don't like any of these guys that I'm looking at right now. <laughs> I really want to take Blake Corum. And just keep my running back room really stout. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to kind of reach for a guy that I liked last year that I still think is pretty dependent in that offense. Even though Devontae Adams is there, I'm taking Jacoby Myers. All right. Jacoby Who? Myers. Adonai Mitchell, the rookie receiver um, in Indy, is taken next. And then, Phil, you are up. Okay. <clears throat> Blake Corum still there, huh? Mm-hmm. Stare me right in the kisser. But I'm going to opt out of that. I'm going to go for the one-year plan of a guy coming back to town on offense that's going to score a whole lot. <laughs> he has his workload back. I'm taking his equally Elliott. Yeah, that's a, that's a player that Rocky's been kind of banging the drum for in a few previous episodes. It is crazy that in the, what round is this? 11th round, Justin Herbert was selected as a backup quarterback. Mm -hmm. Food for thought. Yeah. Which kind of threw me for a loop because I was looking at Jaden Daniels or Justin Herbert. Mm -hmm. um, it kind of I really like uh, I'm a little bit reeling here <laughs> because I don't love any of the wide receivers that I see here. Uh, to me, they're all kind of the same. Mm -hmm. I don't love any of the tight ends. I love Jerry Judy. No. Uh, Zach Charbonnet. He's a wide receiver right. one, isn't he? Wow. No. Right now he is. Two. <laughs> right now, right now he yeah, has with Cooper right sitting out. Yeah, this is tough. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, and take a risk here on an upside quarterback um, that I talked about in my draft, and that is Deshaun Watson. I'm going to go ahead and grab him here. Okay. All right. I'm thinking about two different wide receivers right now. 
a guy that did well with AR and just in general with Minshew being Josh Downs, who is a guy that I have on my team. I think when you're – this is right now our last skill position pick, essentially, in this draft. So I usually like to take a late, a late round flyer. Usually that's on a wide receiver. A few years ago, that was Michael Pittman Jr. I am taking Troy Franklin. Okay. Again, I think hmm. there's a lot of upside. I think had he uh, – there was a reason that he fell – but I think he could, in fact, be the number two receiver in Denver this year. Might even be the number one. I don't. I don't think he beats out <laughs> Cortland. But Cortland's uninspiring. I mean, uninspiring as a twelve touchdown season can be. I mean, yeah. The thing is, he he scores. You know. All right. So one more go round on the skill position, right? Pat Fryermouth <clears> was taken <throat> after. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to beef up this bench here, you know, and. Uh, there's a lot of choices. You're just kind of, you know, putting your chips down and hoping you pick the right guy. But I will say I'm going to follow the money here. I'm going to take Jerry Judy here. They're committed to him. They're going to give him a, one last chance to kind of prove that he was, he is who he, he is who they said he was. And uh, I think there's an opportunity for him to carve out a nice role there. We're taking kickers too, right? Correct. So, right. yeah, so we have to take a kicker and defense basically with our last two picks. Look at that. Um, the run on kickers has happened already. Yes, it has. Uh, so I'm going to go with my uh, – actually, a fair amount of defenses I don't like either. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and draft the 49ers defense and upside. All right, yeah, since we're on the back end of this of this round, all your good kickers, Justin Tucker going first, uh, followed by Harrison Butker. Young Hoku is a guy that I like to target in leagues that I need a kicker. Don't like any of these. I'm going to take the Jets defense. You took my defense. It's a good pick. I know Carlson is taken next, and Phil, you are on the clock. So if I'm looking at defenses here, first thing I do when I look at a defense, I look at division. Um, I feel like the Jets had a nice setup there. Real I'm pretty. really worried about Miami, right? Yep. Um, hmm. I also like to look at turnovers and the potential score off that well, and, I think the, and the offense being complimentary. Well, I think the new kickoff rules, like you guys were already talking about, I think that really throws a dynamic. We don't really know what's going to happen with that. Yep. Right, so I'm going to go ahead, because of the division, with a, a Vegas team without a quarterback, a Broncos team without a quarterback, and a, uh, who's the other team? Chargers. Uh, a Chargers team that looks to get back to the ground and pound. I'm taking the Chiefs defense. Fair okay. enough. Jason Sanders is next, and then you've got Saints, Seattle, Tampa, Rams, Chargers, Washington Commanders, Vegas, and I'm going to take my kicker here, and this is just a hunch. I'm going to take, uh, I don't know how to say his name. Dang uh -huh. it, I did something here. Farburn? Uh, yeah, Farborn. Farburn. But I screwed up something here, and... Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. On the last pick. Go back. I don't know how to go back, I'll be honest. Go home. Uh, continue. <laughs> Already joined. Just oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh... I'm gonna see. <laughs> I'm gonna see who it picks for me. I guess because I'm locked out. But I would have taken a fair bit. You have 22 seconds. Let's see. Well, I I think they're no. They're probably taking McManus. Damn it. <laughs> would you want a uh, fair burn? Fair bar. <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> Dang, look at that. I'm taking <laughs> Dicker, the kicker, and a ground and pound score points when you can't offense. I love that pick for my last pick. <clears throat> the okay. Giants defense actually got taken. Weird. Giants defense is going to be just kidding. Yeah, defensive good. line is pretty good. Um, uh, top rated linebackers by PFF last year. Uh, <laughs> here we go. So. Hmm, do I go with Adam team or do I go with Dome? This is a big debate. Usually I'm Dome gonna wins. I'm going to stick with Dome here. I'm going Matt Gay. Nice. 
and the Indianapolis Indianapolis Colts. Yeah, and that's the draft. <sighs> so that's the draft. We can re- we again. can re- re- recap this old baby. So uh, we can recap our teams, right? Yeah. You guys have to recap my team. All right, so <laughs> we'll go with Rocky. Let me see if I could look at everybody's team. Hold on. Who's your quarterback, Rocky? There you uh, are. Yeah, right there. <clears throat> All right, so Rocky, I don't know if this would be your starting lineup, but this is how you drafted him. C.J. Stroud, B. John Robinson, Isaiah Pacheco, Drake London, Amari Cooper, Brock Bowers at tight end, and right now in your slot you have Calvin Ridley and Nick Chubb. Would you switch those guys out for anybody on your bench? Yeah, I'd probably upside. I'd probably take out Nick Chubb right now and either put Spears or Coleman. So let's say Spears probably, right, to start. And then your kicker, Kami Fairburn, Fairburn, and San Francisco 49ers defense. I think I'm pretty weak at tight end. I'm taking a risk. Brock's going to have to come up quick. You want to tell yours off, Big Dog? Sure. I have, as my starting quarterback, Kyler Murray. I've got JT and Travis Etienne, DJ Moore and Jaden Reed. Tight end is Dalton Kincaid. Then at flex currently, I have Alvin Kamara, Jamison Williams, Dicker the kicker, Jets defense. I've got at flex, or sorry, at my flex with Jamison Williams, I would swap out for Brian Robinson. And then I've got Jacoby Myers and Troy Franklin. Okay, where am I? Okay. So at quarterback, I have the horse himself. (laughs) I have uh, James Cook at RB1. I like that Aaron pick. Jones at RB2. Garrett Wilson, Malik Neighbors, TJ Hawkinson at tight end. Then at the flex, I have Chris Godwin, Zach Moss. Kicking is Matt Gay. Defense is Kansas City Chiefs. So a few things I would change for sure. I think I would slide Deontay Johnson up to my starting wideout. Yep. And I would probably start Chris Godwin and Zach Moss week one, but I expect by week three, my flex would... Oh, you, you can't put running back in flex here, huh? So, this would be what tough. You yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. It does say that, running back? Okay, yeah. so then... You got Zach Moss. Oh, Zach Moss is there. Yeah, I think I would probably... I would bump neighbors down to flex. Probably... I think I would probably start him over Moss after week one. I I'd think at week one, I'd play it safe and start the running back. But I think I'd wind up having Johnson and Wilson as my starting two. And then Godwin and or neighbors at the flex, depending on who's so playing or healthy. What do you feel is the strength and weakness of your teams? I feel like the weakness is running back. I would say maybe quarterback, depending on how T-Law does. But I think you've got some great receivers here. Like I'm looking and I'm like, geez. You're yeah, I like sack. this team. I like this team. Um, Zeke, man, if Zeke, this is, if Zeke could do numbers here. Well, he's <laughs> I'd feel good about this team. Yeah, Zeke's literally the starting running back for the Cowboys. Yeah. Crazy. Uh, so, think about it, so we have, yeah, that's cool. I didn't realize that. My third and fourth running backs are starters. Yeah, pretty good. So nobody's good. that's like a, nobody's that's a powerhouse, though. Yeah. Uh, I think you've got some upside. You know, Jones could be really good in Minnesota. I don't know what I'm getting from Jones. That's the problem. Sorry, my bad, Zach. Can you go to Zach's team? Because I'm curious. My thought yeah. was Zach's team was... My wide receivers are risky. Well, I like to draft Chief, upside. DJ Moore. I, you know, I, I actually like Jaden Reed, too. I think that your I team like your is... running backs. I tend to go running back heavy. Yeah. I I would be... A, who, do you have a backup quarterback, or you don't? No, None of us I do. never go backup no, quarterback. I, I oh, you yeah. on your bench? Yeah, that's I did, and I probably shouldn't have because no, I needed not. another tight end. You only had, yeah. Well, yeah. I think that's where I'm weak. I'm very weak at tight end. Well, this is not fully. I mean, this is not a full roster, right? Yeah, but I it's like, kind of gets to an idea of where guys are going. So I, I like my running backs. I think I've got two uh, pretty strong ones. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm nervous about my receivers. I, I'm I'm surprised by Cooper at five eight. I wanted another potential starting running back, and I think he's going to be. Um, or I'm sorry, you said Cooper at five eight. Yeah, I I like him. I think he's, he's yeah. You jump some people, right? Yeah. And then I am super surprised at Nick Chubb at eight eight. I, I feel like there's some guy you could have got with a role. Um, a role, but I didn't think I could find any running back that was was a potential the running back 
And I think by game five, he's going to be back to being Nick Chubb. You think he's going to be back? It's yeah. so crazy. I do. Yeah. All right. All right. Cool. All right, that's the show. Thanks yeah. for watching. Make sure you let us know who you think won this draft, who definitely lost this draft. Did the AI win? Did we win? What surprised you? What didn't surprise you? We'd love to hear from you. Follow us at G1 Podcast, wherever you currently browse the internet. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next episode of Guys on Sports. See ya.